Right, let's talk about brick textures. You have a large building or you have a larger surface, you get a, a seamless brick texture and you put it on and you can see seams. If you take this render for example, here, well not seams but you see tiling, right? So you get here, you get here, you get the same pattern again, 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 going through the map. And it just doesn't work out very well. It doesn't look realistic because you don't get this same pattern again and again when you're when you put down bricks so you need a brick texture large enough to cover this building which is seamless now unless you create a massive one yourself you're not going to find one but there is a tool which lets you do it and here's the render so this is seamless Uh, you can look closer. So, let's look at the tools which we use to create the seamless brick texture. Now, you're going to need to download Burka Maps, which are created by this guy. Um, and you get them, this is his page, and you get them by clicking on this link. Just type in download Burka Maps in, into Google. You're going to get this link here on GitHub. You click on that one and then you can clone or download here. Download zip. Save file. Open it. It's fairly small. And you need the these DLL ones here really. So you're going to go in here. So this is to work with 3ds Max 2013, 15, 17 and 18. So then you take that and you copy that and you need to put that into your plugins. So you need to put that into this PC. Program files. Autodesk. 3ds Max. Plugins. So you drop DLLs and others into here and then it will start up and you'll have the tools which you need. So that's the first one you need is Burka Maps, and the second one you need is Multi Texture, which you get from CG Source. So you have to create an account, and when you've created an account, you can then download. You have a little download link here. Now we're not using Floor Generator. A lot of you will have been using Floor Generator, and it creates the geometry. We don't want to create the geometry. What we do want to do is use Burka Maps to create the texture. So that's effectively what we're going to do. I've also had a free HDRI which I'm using here. Uh, you can see it here. I'm just lighting the scene with it. And the HDRI which I'm using is from Viz People. Free HDRI maps updated, free non commercial version of Viz People HDRI version 1. So, this is what I'm using. Feel free to go to these guys. They've got awesome HDRIs, they've got awesome models, they've even got free stuff. Now, let's talk about your project. Typically, a client says to you, right, I need a texture on my building, and we're going to use, well, maybe not this brick, but a brick. So they'll give you a name, something like this. So you Google it. You're like, okay, let's Google it. Let's see if we can get a seamless texture, which is similar. And you end up with that. And you go through looking for the largest one you can. There you go. And good luck with building a seamless brick texture with that. <laughs> So we're going to take that into Photoshop and in Photoshop here, if you look at full brick textures, you need to create a little bit more space up here and you need to put some more mortar up there. But brick textures, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have to create a few more. I'm going to use a stamp tool. Uh, just take this corner and Oh, no, let's take that corner. Let's just line it up here. And here's the stamp tool. You just have to click on that. And then we're going to go over to the other side and do that. Uh, let's make this a bit bigger. If you click on this one here, which is the crop tool, and just drag that up, drag that down, drag this out. Just give yourself a little bit more space. You've got to create some brick textures. 
Right, so stamp, and let's take another one here. Need to create some bricks, create some bricks. Now if you need to make the brush size bigger or smaller, you can press Control alt right click, and you can go up and down for hardness, and left and right to get it bigger and smaller. So, Control alt right click on your mouse, and I normally use for this fairly hard hardness, well, not hard, but 60% about. Yeah, a bit smaller, something like this. Okay. So we've created this brick texture just by sticking some stuff on the end. I'm going to create another one down here. Click. Boom. Boom. Okay, we need to put some more there. Okay. Oops. I'm pressing Alt and then left clicking in the area. Okay, and then just cloning that bit there and then painting on here. There we go. And Creating a bit more bricks. Bum 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 bum. Small there, small there. Just gonna get the bottom of this. Oops. Let's try this again. If it doesn't work like that, just take another one, which is closer. There we go. Looking nice. Okay, let's try this. bit better. Right. So in very short order you get something put together which looks alright. So next you need to click on the crop tool and you take this into about the size of one brick. Uh, like and halfway. You want to get half of the mortar. So one brick and half the mortar. And then make sure to delete crop pixels, which is normally on. Check that to make sure that's off. Then this you need to save out as a JPEG file. Save as. And JPEG. And these are all the ones I've saved. So brick one. Save. Bang. And then what you do is because you've got... When you, you didn't have delete crop pixels, you can... Just press V. Drag it along. Get that roughly in the middle. Save. File. Save as. Drag it along. Nope. Next row. Next row. Fix that up in Photoshop with the same stamp. And so on and so forth. Right, so save all of those out. You end up with your brick textures that you can use. Now you also need a bump texture. In this case, I need it to be blurred a bit. And the reason for this is in Photoshop. See, this is like pixelated, this image. So when I save them out, if you... I put black and white on it here. And then invert, which is this one. Let's click on that, that inverts the colors. So you've got black and white. And then I invert it for the bump. And then curves which the curves simply that so 
you just have that, you just click here, pull that down to make the darkers darker, click here, pull that up to make that lighter as lighter. But still, when you do a bump or displacement with it, you're going to end up with it going down and up and down and up because these pixels are just too much. So you just need to blur that, blur that, blur, Gaussian blur. And I've chosen two. You can go one. Yeah, see, it's still a bit dark and lights right next to each other. So if you go one, you might have an issue with displacement. Two is better. So that's what you go with. You go with the two. You say okay. And that's your bump or your displacement map. And you save all of those out. And you end up with this. Okay. So back into Max. You click on Material Editor, you bring it up. I've kept the material very simple, just to sh the purpose of this is to simply show you how to use uh, multi-texture and Birkentile to get a seamless brick texture. I'm not trying to get a perfect render here. Right. So, let's recreate this material. Take that off, take that off. Okay, so this is the material which is assigned. So, Birkin tile and multi texture. So, if you've downloaded those, put those into your plugins, these will now appear. Right, so first let's get the multi texture right. So, you double click on multi texture, you press manage textures, add bitmap. Then you have to select these. Whoops, add bitmap. I'm going to press control and just select them this way. Click on open. And that's it. You have all your textures there. Now, you'll notice we put the, the mortar around it, which is important. And it's going to be important when we apply this into Birkentile. So if you put it into Birkentile, You've got these different colors. I'm not going to get into that now. I'm just trying to show you how, how this works. The third one here, this is for grout, mortar, colors like this. But we've got the color already in the brick texture, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, plug that straight into diffuse. And that's that. Guaranteed, if I render, it's going to come out looking weird. Oh, there you go. Just plain. There's nothing there. Now we need to sort it out. So there's various changes. I'm going to run through all of them quickly with you here. First in multi-texture, you need to tell it that it's using Birkin tile, which it has right here. So click on there and it knows to use it with Birkin tile. Now the next important one is this blur. You have to reduce that to zero or right click on the spinner, get that down as low as possible. Otherwise your brick textures are just going to be blurred and it won't work. That's it on multi-texture. Birkentile, there's a few more steps to do. First of all, you need to look at the brick size. So in the UK, standard brick size are 215 by uh, 65 height. But what we're going to do is we're going to add on 10 for the mortar. So that'd be 225 and 10 here for the mortar because the brick size is 65. Edge width, you want to get rid of this because if you don't, you're going to start having seams in the brick. So just right click, get that down to zero. Now this wants to soften the corners and make them round. Again, you're going to end up with weird round corners and soft, so just go none and turn off round corners here. All right. Now you have to make sure enable tile mapping here is ticked. The other thing which you have to do is you have to take your model and you have to put a UV map on it and put it on box. And just turn real world scale off and just set that to one unit. What it's going to do is that will take this and it'll say that's the unit. That's it. One of those, one of those. So now if I render, I get brick texture. Da -da! And that's it. Really, that is all there is to it. So it's very simple. And you end up with this. And you end up with a seamless brick texture covering an entire surface. Just to show you, um, 
took me ages to figure out I had to reduce this blur to 0 0.01. If you leave it at 1, you get that. Just do a region just so you can see. You get blurs. So it's just to do with blurring in this case is, well, a lot more than what it was before. So right click on that, make sure that blurs 0 0.01 and then you don't get blurs, you get bricks. Okay, that's it. I hope that's helpful for someone. I know it'll be helpful for some guys in the office. Um, And that is how you use Birkentile and Multi-Texture to create seamless brick texture in 3ds Max.